Yep. Hey, welcome to Simple Cooking with Eric Live. Listen, I am so sorry, but I was caught in that um that Facebook live and I didn't know what was going on. So I had to get on here and get this out the way. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm running behind, so we're going to get right to it. Now listen, I said that you can make gumbo for under 60 bucks. I did it. I did it. I probably went over five dollars with, with the season and all that, but let me let me just go through the ingredients, what I have here. These are shrimp, two bags of shrimp that I got from Aldi. They were four four ninety nine dollars a bag, medium-sized shrimp, that was, so that's $10.00. This is twenty-two dollars worth of crab, snow crab legging, not the king crab. They snow crab. I got it at the fish market. Twenty-two bucks, and as you can see, I chopped them. Then I got, I got four dollars worth of chopped up tilapia fish. I chopped the tilapia, and then I got three dollars worth of okay. perch fish. I chopped the perch fish up. Then I got the sausage was about four. That the smoked sausage was about four dollars. <coughs> So, and then over in here, hold on, I already started, Hi. I already started the, um, my chicken, so I'm going to move it over to this aisle, and I'm going, as a matter of fact, I'm going to take it out of there. So this is the only thing I pre, I pre, kind of, pre, uh, prepared everything. All this is is chicken winglets and, um, boneless, skinless, um, uh, Chicken thighs. So I'm going to take these out now. So these are are done, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to get ready to start our stock. So now all I have in here is the water for when we doing the chicken. How you all doing? I'm sorry I'm so late getting this done. My niece, well, I guess she was on her way too, so she must be in the traffic. But I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. She don't want want to know how to make gumbo, and also, uh, right. Apostle. Mommy. Bridget Sykes asked me, one of my subscribers asked me what I do gumbo. So Bridget, this also is for you, the apostle of uh, Soldier for Christ Church. Okay. So we got our chicken. Follow me. Come on, Mariah. You got to move. Come on. So what I'm going to do here, Mariah, Mariah, you all bear with me. Why you show me? Come on, come on. I'm trying. Come on. All right, so what I'm going to do, you all, I'm going to pour some grease in this skillet. And listen, this gumbo is going to be quick, fulfilling. It does not take all day to make gumbo, as people say it does. It does not take all day. So the gumbo uh, came to like $58, and then when you add the tomato puree, I think it was like a dollar. And um, the the under the under green pepper. So I might have did it for sixty two bucks. So the first thing I'm going to do, I have to put you down, please. The first thing I'm going to do. Come over here, one minute. I am going to now listen. All this is the celery, white onions, and green pepper. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put half of this in our stock. This is our stock. Okay, so that's about half of it. You all, I cannot get nothing done with this grandbaby, I'm telling you. And then, I'm going to take our sausage... And I'm going to start it in here. So we're going to start that to cook it. Now while that's getting hot. Now. I'm going to season our stock. Come on over here. So what I got. I have some chicken base. About that much, you all. I'm going to put it and get it started. Maybe I'll just a tip bit more. That's to get our stock going. I'm going to add some crushed red peppers. Flakes. Listen.
listen, anybody can, can do this gumbo, you all. Any of you all can do this gumbo. So, I got our crushed red pepper flakes. I'm going to put some already minced garlic. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw some minced garlic in with the sausage. And I'm also going to put some in the stock. Give me that, Mariah. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. I'm going to take questions in a minute, you all. I'm trying to get it going. Okay, good. So, as you see, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cook these sauce. I'm going to brown these. I added the garlic. So, so far, I put the chicken base, the celery, green peppers, and onions, some in, some red pepper flakes, and some chicken base in here so far. Now, I'm, this, it's going to be a bigger pot than what I'm cooking it in, starting it out in. Now, the next ingredient, you all, listen. The next ingredient, in my stock, I'm going to add a little sage. Then, I'm going to add a little Obey seasoning. Then I'm going to add a little gumbo mix. That's somebody, why are you laughing, Juanita? Somebody making a joke? Then, then I'm going to add a little garlic powder. I'm making the stock, you all. The last thing I will add, now back up, Juanita. Let me, let me get over here. And then I'll go over the ingredients when I finish, you all. Now, look what I'm doing. The rest of my onions and green peppers, I'm, I'm going to saute along with the sausages. Okay, then you see I'm sauteing. I know you all. I know the green bag. Look. Don't worry. One day I'll be in the film without her. Just hold on. She'll be in school in a couple of weeks. I'm going to give this a stir. As you all can see. I'm going to get another spoon. Stay there, one. Stay where you at. So, is there any questions so far? She said she know what to do. Oh, okay. How you doing? You say Miss Rice. Okay. Are you all as you all see? No more I got our sausage going. We got our stock going. Now, so let's go over the let's go over the price. So, like I said, the sausage is worth four bucks. Then I'm, I got the chicken over here, so what I'm going to do, because I, I want to um, separate the, the chicken meat. The, I, got, I got the little party wings in here. Listen, any, any of you all can make this gumbo. And I know if I'm going too fast, if I need to slow down, tell me. But, but you know, going live, you ain't got you ain't got much time. You don't want to be on there all day trying to tell somebody how to. You gonna take that on out of there? And it, and, it, and it comes together so fast. So fast. So fast. Yeah, Mom. Nana says slow down. Who? Yeah. Nana says slow down. Okay. Yeah. You all see I'm cutting the chicken. I'm really just breaking it up. It's tender. Yeah. Y'all hope, hope the lighting is good. Y'all try to get some lamps and stuff. You know, 
If y'all get me to a thousand, uh, ten thousand subscribers and views, maybe I can afford some some real equipment. Come on back over here, man. Y'all see? Look at that, look at our, our tree. Look at that. Do you all see? And then they could. That's on high too. We got our stock going still. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. You said that you know you've been cooking since y'all were little. Right. Hey, how Nothing you doing, has, Perry? Nothing has changed. It helps us sink with me. Right. How you doing, Perry, man? Uh, a childhood friend. You all see? Yeah. Now, what I want to do, where's the top to this? Over there. Hold on. Right here. Uh, read the question. How many do? Seven. How I many? Seven. seven. It's more than that, but it's seven people. I can't wait. I'm looking for the top to this. It's over here. Okay. Still soft tan. Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> ah. Stay there. Okay, I'm gonna set this top over here, y'all. I wanted to cook quick a little quick. Now you see over here, look at our, our stock is 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 it's getting a good boil. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so what? Y'all paying attention? So now I'm gonna drop our fish in. So we got our fish in here now, so that's cooking. And what I'm gonna have to do transfer the pot. Now, as you all see, I'm going to switch the pots. Cause so, for 60 bucks, I'm going to... Come on, what, follow me, Juanita. Come on. I need to turn it over for a bigger stuff. Come on. Come on. Come on. As you all can see... Okay. Okay, so we got that. So I don't, I don't have to get a bigger pot. Look at our sausages, you all. They coming along. Huh? Somebody has a question. Huh? Somebody has a question. What's the question? She said she just joined. What kind of fish are you using? Oh, um, perch and tilapia. Perch and tilapia. More questions. Perry uh, said, "What kind of fish is recommended?" Huh? Perry said, "What kind of fish is recommended?" Uh, perch, perch and tilapia, not catfish. I wouldn't use catfish break up. But perch and tilapia, you could use um whiting. We use whiting also. Boneless though. See how sausage coming along, you all? Oh, I'm just... 
Stay with me. Look at that. We want that to get a boil. So as you all see, and it doesn't take long if you prep everything. People, if you prep everything, it does not take long. You do not have to be in the kitchen all day making gumbo. Alright, um, now I'm gonna you all see I'm throwing in my crab. And what I did is you all can see I cut them out, I chopped them all up. This is twenty dollars, twenty-two bucks worth of crab meat, crab legs. Now, instead of raw, these are already cooked strips. Like I said, these was like um, these was four ninety nine a bag. Four ninety nine a bag at all. This is two bags of the medium strength. I'm gonna put those in in a minute. Now, this is gumbo filet. So you all remember when I added all that other stuff. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little in my stock. I'm going to add the rest, as you all see what I'm doing. And then, this is flour. I'm going to make the roux. It's called a roux. I'm making, you notice, I'm making the roux in the skillet. With all of them. I don't know how much flour that was, but maybe it might have been a half a cup. Y'all see how I did that? Mommy. Okay. Look at that. Look at look at I'm doing that. So I'm making a roux with the, along with the, the sausage. Look at that, look at that you want. Now, we throwing our chicken back in, look. Now you all, look the size of this pot we got so far. They got a lot, okay, got a lot of meat. Look at it. Question, what's the question? Um, Perry said, can you just start off using a big pot or should you, should you just use the pot to boil and then boil the stock and then just transfer everything? No, you can start out using a big pot. But I was, Perry, I was trying to do it. I wanted my, boil, I wanted to start boiling quicker. So that's why I just started out in a smaller pot, the pot that I cut the chicken in. But of course, you can start out in one big pot. And you all see see how see how our roux is coming together along with the sausage and the onions and green pepper. Look at that. Now, now let's throw in. Look, we're throwing in our shrimp now. Everything is coming together. Look at that. Now, now listen, where you gonna get a pot of gumbo look like this for 60 bucks? Look at that. All right, now. So now, let's start putting out. Now, you 
y'all know the rule is going to have to thicken up, but I, I'm, I got something else on my ass. Just hold on. Now listen. Put on my. I know, I know people make gumbo all kinds. Let me tell you, gumbo is made all kinds. It is really no, no certain way that you can make it. You can make gumbo any way you want. But you got to figure out what make what works for you and how you can make it quicker or how you can make it more cheaper. You do not have to go spend three or four dollars to make a pot of gumbo. And as you all see, this one of them look. I don't know how many quarts, it might be about five quarts, I don't know. But show them the pot, the size of this pot. And this pot is me, look at that, look at that. As you all see, look at that. It is, this not no skippy pot of gumbo. And they get all the little bells and whistles. This this pot is just as good as a, a three hundred dollar pot of gumbo. And listen, um you all the video will be on YouTube this evening in you know, about ten o'clock. So if I went too fast if you didn't get the instructions just go back and look at the YouTube channel, Simple Cooking with Eric, and uh, so and it'll tell you how the steps that I went through. Ready? Now. Ready? 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 <laughs> yeah. Now, you all see this? So now I'm adding a can of tomato puree. This, you know, I said 20 people. It might be a little bit more. Because you know you make it with some rice, too. Get your rice on the side. I don't think you might can feed more than 20 people with this. But I say easily 20 people. And then... Now, you all listen. The last and final thing... And then I'm going to let this cook. I'm going to taste it in a minute. I'm adding some uh, hot sauce. What's the stove, little girl? I learned how to make this gumbo when I was like um, 18 years, 16 or 18. This was the gumbo. This is how we made the gumbo at the corner. On 47 in Indiana in Chicago. This is exactly how we made it. And this is how I made it. This gumbo. Made a little bit more of this in it. And then we just let this simmer. Until all everything is cooked. Look at that people. And let even this, now as you all can see, even this is too big. Even this pot is too small for as much gumbo as we got. So let me do something. As you all can see, look at look at how full this pot is. And it's and it's and it ain't liquid, it's all look at this. Hold on, stay with me. I'm almost through you all. Almost, and I'm going to take questions. <laughs> now I'm adding the okra. All this was a frozen bag of cut okra. Oops, I made a mess now. Now I'm going to hold up, you all. Let me let me get some do some over there. Let me get it. You all see, I had if the pot was too small. Oops. 
Y'all bear with me. Don't worry about it. It's all this live. This is live cooking. Now, see that? Look, now it's starting to boil. I took something. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Two pots. Now, what I'm going to do. I need to taste and make sure it's seasoned enough. Lonnie said Chicago. Uh, Lonnie said Chicago. Let's see you all. Mm. <laughs> you all, I'm adding a little. A little salt. <coughs> Question: I'm all over the. I know I'm all over the place, you all. Okay. Ready? Ready? You all the time I use this whole thing of gumbo filet. It's yeah, like a small yeah, bottle, but yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But I wanted to. Ready? You all see? Mm. It's time to get dark. I guess y'all said he don't measure. He just throwing everything in the pot. That's what gumbo is, to be honest. Throw it all in the pot. Mm, mm, it smells so good. Y'all see? It's a small bottle. Okay, let's taste it again. Mm. You use the hot sauce to give a kick. You know what? What you took out the pot, you could feed eight to ten people. Yes. Yes, you definitely could. <clears throat> I mean, it do it. It got to kick you up. Ooh. Tell me this pot to feed about ten people. This size pot, period. He said, uh, yeah, I see. That's what you're doing. It's to be your taste. Right. <clears throat> but see this pot you all? So you got two pots for 60 bucks. Really? Oh. Look at that you all. Now I'm going to tell you what I'm going to add. Just a little bit more of the seasoning. It's, it's, <clears throat> Last but not least. People don't put sage in this, but I do. Okay. I'm going to give it the last and final taste, you all. Mm. Questions? Uh, 
saying people just saying in the door. Now y'all hold on, hold on. Hold on. Take that question, buddy. You do what? Terry <laughs> said, what kind of taste are you using when you use sage? Terry um, said, what kind of taste are you using when you use sage? I'm giving it a... Uh, You're giving it. Tell, tell, a lot of people think sage is just for dressing and things, but you could use sage on a lot of Sage is a spice, and I, I, I just like that kind of like, I don't know, that I like that herbal flavor, that herbal, uh, I put sage in spaghetti, I put sage on fried chicken, I put sage in a lot of things. I'm just, and, and see, I'm just, you all, now y'all see, I'm just dipping it up because I want you to see this size bowl. Now you see this size bowl, this is a nice size bowl. You see this size bowl now. Look at our pots. Look, look at our pots. Y'all, the gumbo is ready. It's ready. Cause you gotta remember the heat gonna continue to cook the fish and stuff. But it's ready. Look how broken it all up. It's meaty. It's all broken up with some. And what you do, you serve it with some rice. But look at this side. Now, to you all, surprise! I do not eat gumbo. But I'm going. I'm going to taste it, so you all know. I want to put it on me. Let's see. Believe me or not, you. I do not like crab legs, so that's why I don't like gumbo. I eat mean, everything that's in the gumbo except the crab legs. So I don't like. So I won't even eat the gumbo. Period. But I'm. Gonna, I'm gonna just taste. Just for y'all's sake. See this size bowl? Look. Look at the pot. Get on the pot again. Look at that. Two pop. Look at the size. I'm going to put this back in because I'm not going to eat it. Y'all, I tell you. It is really good. Mm. All the spices that come together. Now, how long did it take me to make it? You start out with it, I had everything cut and prepped. And I was able to put this gumbo together within 30 minutes. Because you have to remember, if you use the already cooked shrimp, that don't take a minute. Everything takes... <laughs> I was able to do it like in less than 30 minutes. And remember, I spent $22 on the crab legs, which were snow crab legs. It wasn't that big, but they served this purpose. I spent $4 on the sausage. I spent $6 on the chicken. I spent $10 on the shrimp, $4 on the tilapia, and $3 on the perch. And all that, just that little meat and all that, when it came all together, I was able to get these two pots of gumbo. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Go to my channel, Simple Cooking with Eric. And if you missed some of the stuff that I did, remember, uh, just go on my page. And you too can make this gumbo simple. That's what the channel is, Simple Cooking with Eric. Simple. Don't forget to, once again, like, share, and subscribe. Listen, this gumbo is for a client. Someone ordered this gumbo. So I did it live so the client can see how I made it and how I spent. So listen, you can get a pot of gumbo also. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all for viewing. Thank you all for supporting the channel. Please tell your family, friends, if you if you have not subscribed to the channel or they have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Remember, uh, October 21st, we're going to go live and select five families, five subscribers. 
to cater the entire Thanksgiving dinner with all the bells and whistles, up to 20 people. The meal will feed about 20, probably 20 plus people. So please subscribe, continue to view the channel. I'm at 6,000, I think, no, 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 I take that back. I'm at like 5,200 views so far. So I'm trying to reach 10,000 views, and then I want to continue on with the view. Uh, continue to support. I, I love you all. Thank you all for watching. Until we see each other again, peace out.